Hi, I'm Kirk Capallo from A Tight Loop Magazine, and today I'm going to be tying one of my favorite carp flies. I call it the carp toad. So let's get started. I pierced a, uh, a magnum rabbit strip and uh, set it on and tied it on the hook so it's riding with the fur side up, you know, towards the uh, hook point. Now I'm going to tie in a, another bunny strip with the fur facing the hook shaft, and I'm going to start wrapping the rabbit around the hook snake. Take three or four turns. I overlap a little bit as I go. You can get it wet so things lay down a little bit easier for you and then it's a little bit easier to tie it off. So this fly is going to ride hook point up so I'm going to tie everything on the underside of the hook shaft. bind this rabbit strip in real well. I don't want this fly to come apart. We're going to be dragging it through the sand and through rocks and things like that. So get it on there real well. Now I'm going to take a little bit of ice wing. Like I said, this hook is going to ride hook point up. So I'm going to keep this on the underside of the hook so the fish can see it better. Just a little bit of flash. Don't need too much. Now we're going to start the, the toad style head. Uh, doing this can be a little bit tricky, but just kind of take your time and you'll get it a, a flat wax thread. Makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to set the first piece on and go a loose diagonal wrap and then do a second one and kind of position it. Make sure the material is right on top of the hook shank. I'm going to go two wraps in front of the material. Now we're going to go from the other side. We're going to go two cross wraps. Then we're going to push everything back and then do two securing wraps in front of it. I'm going to trim, trim this off maybe about an inch to get started with and then we'll fine tune it. So we've got that kind of crisscross pattern there. Now I'm going to take an alternating color. Um, I usually tie this fly in, in the olive pattern for, for carp on the Great Lakes. Keep working your way up the hook, hook shank. I like to alternate colors. I think it just gives a, a nice look to the fly. I don't know if the fish really care or not, but I think it makes my flies look a little bit nicer. And, uh, it takes a little time to, to do this step, but I think the outcome really makes a nice looking fly that it swims a little bit different than a lot of other things you see in the water. I'm just going to keep on working our way up the shaft of the hook. I don't really count how many I do, I just, just wear it. It doesn't really matter, just you gotta. Fill the hook shaft up pretty tightly. You don't want, I don't like to have big gaps in my toad style flies. Uh, some of the guys who tie in for saltwater, they, they have bigger gaps, but I like it a pretty compact head because I'm trying to imitate a goby or, or a sculpiny type thing, something like that. And then for the last piece, I'm going to take a little bit of pink. Uh, for some reason, the carp in, in Lake Michigan. They really seem to like flies with pink heads. Um, we found this to be true here on the south end of Lake Michigan, as well as up in Beaver Island. Um, I don't know, something that they can key in or on or whatever. It's kind of goofy, but hey, it works. Get that tied in, trim it up a little bit. Now we're going to Flip the fly over. Now we're gonna go ahead and tie in our bead chain eyes. So I set them on top of the hook. I want this this hook to ride, hook point up, just like a clouser. Go with a couple crisscross wraps. And then lock them down. And then go ahead and knot the fly off. And we're good to go. So now we got to trim everything up. So start by 
pulling everything out. Because only I don't like everything pulled real tight. And I'm going to start on an angle cutting and then turn my scissors kind of in a circular fashion so as I get to the last pieces they curve back in. We kind of want to give the appearance of a little bit of a round head. It can be difficult to get the get them the same length but a little bit of practice and you'll get there. And that's the completed carp toad. Thank you very much for watching.